Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Salt Fight Series. Torquay, are you having a good time? Torquay, are you having a good time? Are you ready for some professional MMA bouts? Fight number nine on the Salt Fight Series is brought to you by Windfall Jewelry. Introducing first out of the blue corner, fighting out of Resilience Training Center, she is Amy the Hitman Charm. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming back and joining us once again. We are fed. We are a couple more Bells Beach Brewing Endless Summer Lagers deep, and we are ready to talk you through the professional portion of tonight's car. Now coming to the cage is Amy Hitmon Chan. Now I'm not sure if you guys would know, but Hitmon is a playoff. As you can see her music, you can hear her music. Hitmon Lee, one of the legendary original 150 Pokemon. Hitmon Lee was a kicker, so let's see if Amy Hitmon Chan is gonna follow in Hitmon Lee's footsteps. I'm glad you knew that because I did it. Really interesting matchup here with Amina. Um, this is her pro debut for Amina. Amy is experienced as a professional fighter, but not in MMA. This is her first pro MMA fight. So really good history um, in Muay Thai, um, but first time for an MMA fight. Yeah, it will be interesting to see how that, albeit in a different sport, that experience with the pressure of the professional environment um, works in Amy Chan's favour. Now, Amy Chan is a doctor, so if she knocks her out, is that technically a doctor stoppage? I think it might be. She's a tough British striker. They struggle to find her an opponent. Nobody wants to fight her. Somebody that does want to fight her is Amina Hadaya. And her opponent fighting out of the red corner by way of the Steel City, Newcastle, New South Wales. Give it up for Amina Hadaya! Amina, of course, trains out of freestyle fight gym, home of UFC champion Alex Volkanovski. We mentioned some professional experience working in the favor of her opponent, Amy Chan, but that is in Muay Thai. Uh, Amina is quite an experienced amateur. She's racked up a lot of fights in quite a short period of time. She's a serious athlete. Um, I've been down to freestyle MMA, done a little bit of training. I've seen Amina work. She means business. And she does normally fight um, as a flyweight. She's taken this at a catch weight of 54 kilos and on just five weeks notice as well. So a really short camp for her. Well, she'd be used to it. She's one of the most active fighters in Australasia at the moment. So, taking a fight on short notice, I'm sure she's done it before, she's got the experience there. Plus, MMA-wise, she is a lot more experienced in the cage. So, we'll see if uh, Amy's Muay Thai fights are going to help her here. This is her first MMA fight. So, again, a very interesting clash of styles here. Mina now transitioning from the amateur to the professional rule set and is stinging to throw some elbows. Two competitors have now entered the ring for fight number nine, brought to you by Windfall Je Jewelry. It is three five-minute rounds in the professional catchweight division. Introducing first out of the blue corner, she has a record of four professional fights, standing at five foot five. She weighed in yesterday at 53.8 kilograms. She is a knockout and submission machine, winning all fights by stoppage. Fighting out of Resilience Training Center and trained by Dan Kelly and Callum Potter. She is Amy the Hitman Chan. And her opponent fighting out of the red corner. She comes to us tonight with a record of six wins and only two defeats. Standing at five foot five and weighing in yesterday at 54.3 kilograms. She is a freestyle fighter, fighting out of freestyle MMA by way of the Steel City, Newcastle, New South Wales. Tonight, making her professional debut, she is Amina Hadaya. Fighters two, centering. 
Hey, Mark Mansell, it's on such clubs. Step back, let's do it. For the viewers at home, if you're a little bit newer to MMA, the key comparison between this and the fights we've seen thus far is we will have five minute rounds rather Body ready. Three. Body ready. Round one. Amina right on the front foot. Going after Amy Chan, some big punches. Other differences you might notice from the amateurs to the pros is the lighter gloves that the professionals are wearing. Also, there's no shin protection in this either. This fight is brought to you by Windfall Jewelry, who is actually an all-female team of jewellers. Um, and Lani, the uh, owner of that company, is also a pro Muay Thai fighter. So very close to home for her. Fantastic that she's getting behind this fight. Stunning jewellery by Windfall Jewellery, designed and made in Melbourne. Let's go, Amina! Amina absolutely hunting thus far, staying on the front foot. Just pouring with that lead hand, covering, keeping control of the space between her and Amy. Coming in behind that right hand again. Now, Amina being a training partner with, you know, Alex Volkanovsky, how, how's that going to impact fighting in the cage, fighting MMA, having a partner that uh, such a high caliber? Would have to give you some confidence. And I'll tell you, of course, Friso is the home of Alex Volkanovsky, but they have an incredible team of professionals and amateurs. The atmosphere at that gym is awesome. They push each other really hard. And as you said before, she is such an active fighter. She's actually had six fights within five months between March and July. Crazy. This gap that she's had coming into this fight is the longest fight, uh, the longest gap that she's had. Which can be a benefit uh, as fighters. You often will get used to being active and, and can feel like it's more beneficial to, to always rack them up very close together. But that's the time that you can take to really develop. You can really see Amy's Muay Thai coming out there with those kicks. Yeah. Not having a ton of success exchanging punches with Amina, so it might be wise to try to make some space and, and get some of those kicks in across the body. Nice jab from Amina. Really controlling the centre of the cage here. Now, they're both still feeling each other out. We haven't seen uh, much commitment yet. Nobody's really pressed the button yet. They're still they're, they're pacing themselves. Again, this is professional MMA, so the rounds are longer. So, again, strategy does have to play a part in this. Yeah, there's another big kick lands across the midsection from Amy. Not a ton on it. doesn't really get her hip across it. Nice punching offense from Amina. Good flurry. Mina seems very calm, very relaxed for a first professional fight, especially. Comes with the switch middle kick of her own. Amy fainting a little, struggling to really commit on anything. Oh, big swing and a miss on that hook. Amina's starting to put some, some pop behind her punches now. One thing I've noticed in the crowd here at Salt Fights here is it's a very family-friendly event. It's a little bit different to a lot of the other MMA shows that you can't go to back in Melbourne. Yeah, it's a full family, um, uh, it's a, it's a family-packed event, so everybody comes down from fathers, mothers, kids. Started at 3.30 as well in the afternoon, which is fantastic. Kids home to bed at a reasonable time and you still had a great afternoon with the family. Most importantly, I'm home to bed at a reasonable time. <laughs> <laughs> Some nice punches from Amina. Her volume fight style is really showing here. I believe we've just seen the first elbow of the fire. Mina called out that she was really looking forward to throwing those. The corner, corner likes that they see, they're asking Mina for more elbows. The pressure is a lot for Amy to deal with right now. Amina just still stalking. Great, great uh, control of the cage with her footwork. Watch the way she, she just traces Amy's movement. Doesn't chase her, but just stays on top of her. Hips forward. Shoots in on a single leg. Comes back up to the clinch. Not much on it and exits wisely. One minute to go. And you can see the way we... we are able to watch things play out that bit more with the extra ring time here. 
call from Amina's corner now is not to rush. Perhaps we should get a bit too excited. Big hook cross. Huge punches to finish the round. She's rattled Amy here. Amy's on rubber legs. Would you say she was saved by the bell just then? Look, it definitely looked like things were going in her favour. Didn't quite have her feet under her. It did, it, I liked the tactic of her trying to use that push kick to make some space and recover, but didn't quite find the timing on it. I think uh, Amina really found her rhythm on those punches at the end of that round. As we see here, the, the flurry of punches started to come through. The volume picked up as the match went on. Here we see left and a right connect. Kept the floor playing close. Again, Amina's work is, her volume is high, the punches were getting through. Again, that's where we saw the first elbow of the night. And by the end of that first round, we did see Amy on, uh, on wobbly legs, as you can almost, well, we nearly saw that. Really looking forward to seeing how Amina builds off of that round, because she did, she took quite a measured approach the floor, the floor. in the early going, uh, but I did feel was finding her rhythm very well. She has said go, the goal go. today was to overwhelm Amy, so if that is the plan for her, she was putting it very much into action for the last half of that first round. So far, so good on that plan. Round two. <laughs> Amy must have got some good advice from her corner. Yeah. She came out throwing those punches. They are accurate, they are precise. This is the most active we've seen her all fight. And she's still coming at her. Landing well. Amina is landing some good counter punch in these exchanges. You can see she's drawn some blood from the nose of Amy. But it's the first time we're seeing Amina counter punch. It's been the other way around that first round. Definitely. Let's see how she deals with this. Pace, the tempo seems to have kind of pulled back to what we saw in the last round now. Big hook. Side leg kick has become a tactical choice this round. Amy bleeding a little bit more from that nose now. Yeah, blood's starting to come out. And at what point does the blood from the nose affect your breathing? Is something like this going to really affect her breathing, or does she need to bleed a little bit more? I think a little bit more. Generally, it's okay, but of course, can lead you to start breathing from the mouth, which is not ideal. Catch on the kick, shoots him for the takedown. Amy holds her balance quite well there and just looking to control that wrist. Amina's corner calling for an elbow. She can get around that arm, that, that will be a good opening. The bicep control quite good from Amy here, slowing Amina's advances. Nice elbow from Amy there. And beautiful level change from Amina, grabbing those legs, looking against the cage to see if she can pick up that double leg. Amy is defending by trying to scoop up that arm. Great takedown defense, bring it back to the center of the cage. Amy is really strong as well. I have rolled her before and she is strong. Um, she would be hard to pull down against the cage. As we can see there, nice stiff jab from Amy. Big hook cross, similar to what uh, started the flurry last round. There it goes again, landing well. Amy's got those counters loaded up, but doesn't quite have her feet underneath her. There is so much power behind those punches. And you can see every punch Amina throws, it looks like um, Amy's face just blows up that little bit more. Everything coming behind those shots from Amina. Has Amy's respect right now, really has her kind of responding to those fakes. <laughs> There's that big jab again. Big flurry. Close off with the right hand. I feel that's where the majority of the damage was done. Another very successful round for Amina thus far. And Amina knowing when to pull back. She's not over committing to anything. She's, she's throwing her combo. She's coming in, hitting hard, and then backing away when she needs to. Yep. And that's an important part of cage control that's often overlooked is knowing when not to strike. Nice middle kick from Amy. Amy's still got fight in her. She's still trying to come back here. Kick is caught by Amina. Lands a counter right hand with the kick in her possession. Presses for the takedown. Nothing really on it. And she's having so much success on the outside that, that why waste too much energy pressing for a takedown when you can just maintain this kind of distance? In addition to her training partners, Amina wanted 
a big thank you to her fiance who's actually here on his own birthday supporting her. So huge commitment from um, Amina's fiance there. Happy birthday. And she's putting on a show for him. Happy birthday to Amina's fiance out in the crowd. Amina stalking. Is that jab again? Finding the, the one two. She's landing the jab. Our May just wants yeah. to land the jab here tonight. Big elbow does a little bit more damage to the face of Amy. She is still really composed though. Certainly. And that's with these professional MMA fighters. They might be getting hit, they might be getting punched, but they can compose themselves from start to finish. That mental toughness, the mental toughness they have, it's on another level. Yeah. There's that big jab. Real difference maker in this fight. Amina is relentless. Now you were saying about the open mouth before. Amy is moving around with an open mouth. What, what effect is that going to have on this game? Well, if you get struck in the jaw and your mouth is open, it just makes it a little bit harder. Of course, concussive damage that, that leads to a knockout is from kind of a jolt in the brain. If your jaw is open, it's kind of a little bit more shock. Oh, with that right hand. Looking to finish the round off strong, trying to get that takedown right at the take end down. of round two. To put a stamp on it, another big round for the red The second round we started seeing maybe a little bit more similarities to the Bolton round, the Bolton fight style, with those feints coming out that was a little bit slower pace than the first round. Um, and just have really high volume. You can, you can tell that there are um, some similarities out of that training camp. Absolutely. And she's very smart with the way she's throwing herself at Amy. She's, she's coming at her, flurry of punches, knees, elbows, everything, and then backing away, letting it reset and going again. It's a good strategy. Amy's corner, I have to feel, has probably got a bit of work to do to clean up that nose. And here we can just see just a highlight of the strikes coming through the elbows, the right hand. As we said, Amy called out that she wanted to, to let some elbows fly in this one. I feel, given she's not fought with elbows before, this is a pro debut, she's getting more confident as the fight progresses. The let's go call comes from Amy, from Amina, she's fired up. Last round. Third and final round. Looking to change it up a little bit and go straight for that takedown by the looks of things. But again, they're back in the center of the cage, throwing hands. Amina is just supremely confident at this point. And Amina's landing right now. It's Amy late, it's late in the fight. It's the third round and she's still throwing just as hard as she was in round one. Amy probably has the feeling that she's down on point, starting to chase after Amina. Doesn't want to get pressured around this cage too much, but at this point, just running onto counters. Yeah, Amy's going to really have to throw a Hail Mary out. She's going to have to do something big to, to get the win here. So are we going to see a different Amy in round three? Nice switch left kick from Amina a little bit earlier on. Starting to see her employ some different tactics as the fight progresses. Catches the kick again. Amy very difficult to take down over the course of this fight. Amina manages on that one though. Comes down. Now this is where they can throw elbows. So elbows can get dropped from here. She's in a good side control, goes to mount. mount, in a half guard position. Let's really. see if she makes some elbows round here. There we go, she's in almost in full mount now, but the punches are coming down, the elbows are coming down, she's postured way too head. high right now. Amina smells a finish here. Is she going to try to go for the armbar? The armbar's out, she's going to take the back now. Look for a submission finish up against the cage there, the hand is almost around the fence, I mean, under the chin. <laughs> First time this fight has gone to the ground, both these girls are blue belts. Um, so pretty evenly ranked on paper in terms of what they can do on the ground. Probably a little bit more MMA grappling experience in Amina's favour given Amy comes from the Thai background. She's doing a great job defending the choke by holding onto Amina's left wrist. Amina's now swapped sides and swapped grips. Is Amina going to try to go a traditional rear naked choke or glove to glove? So she's gone palm to palm now. She's going to try to squeeze. She changes to a traditional rear naked stop, stop, choke. Stop, 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 Gets over. the mission finished. What a textbook rear naked choke by Amina to get the victory here tonight. A clinic uh, by Amina Dyer tonight. Think about it. We saw an epic striking uh, 
a striking um, exhibition, a, a clinic, a textbook striking. And then to finish off with a submission off the first takedown of the night. Very, very, very This impressive. is what you call an all-rounded MMA fighter right here. Absolutely. And she is puffed. What a pro debut. If we can get a replay here, would you mind talking us through the finish, Chris? So here we go. She's in side control here. She managed to get all the way up to mount. Now, she doesn't want to get punched in the face, so she's going to give up her back because she can't hit the back here. Here she was. She was controlling uh, Amy's left arm here, punching her in the head, trying to get a reaction. She swapped to the other side and then went palm to palm and then went traditional rear naked choke. Under the chin, forces her to tap. Game over. Fantastic win by Amina. Not asked for much more than that in a professional debut. We can see the windfall girls inside the cage giving the trophy to the winner there. So exciting to see hand, so yeah. many females involved <laughs> in one card. We'll send it back to Jim Podios to make it official. Well done. Fair play. Well done, ladies. Awesome fight. Fight number nine has been decided. It is a submission win at 1 minute 56 into the third round. Your winner, Amina Hadea! Well earned victory by Amina here tonight at Salt Fight Series. And what a start to the professional portion of the card tonight. Yeah, we saw it all. Striking, grappling, MMA. Can't ask for much more than that. All right, we're going to grab Amina for a few quick words here. Can't come from the Steel City and not have a chat to us. Wollongong. Yeah, Amina, what a professional debut. One thing I noticed there, the punches in bunches. Was that something you worked in training? No, I just do that. I don't know why. It just happens. It's just a habit. It happens. Now, obviously, training with the greatest of all time. Real inspiration for you. What comes next now? Uh, another fight, hopefully, in two weeks. So, no, no Christmas pudding? Straight back into it? Straight back into it. I like to fight and just keep fighting consistently. I don't like getting out of camp. I don't like... Chilling, I just like the fight, so I'm ready for another fight in two weeks. I already spoke to my coach. I want another fight in February, and I want one lined up for March as well. So, um, steam train ahead, I'm ready. Fantastic. From Wollongong, give it up for Amina Hayata!